Hello everyone. Hello. Welcome to Piccadilly Stampin'. Welcome to the Thanksgiving special. <laughs> <laughs> you, say, <laughs> you sound like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> oh, I know. You say that every time. <laughs> that was actually kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know if anyone heard it though, because yeah, we say hello so early in this. Who knows? <laughs> you got people on. Okay, I'm trying to get up and going here. Give me a second. So, let's see. Hi, Madison. Happy Turkey Eve, Angie says. Happy Turkey Eve to you, too. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jean. Hi, Marsha. Hi, Kathy from Colorado. Hello. Thank you for sharing. So appreciate it. Come on in. Tell us. Hi, Karen. Tell us where you're from, um, and if you haven't said hello before, it's okay. Say hello. We're a friendly bunch. Um, we like to hear where everyone's from. I think it's kind of mm -hmm. Tell fun. us where you're from. Yeah. So. Hi, Beverly. Happy Thanksgiving to you also. Thank you so much, you guys. We're going to give it just a second here to get everyone in. So, we've had just a small change in the programming today just a small one yeah well yeah bill thought i had a card for him to do um i was bummed when i found out no oh well if you want to do them all by yourself you can no <laughs> so he thought i had a card specially for him i didn't because i was gonna i'm doing kind of a a mashup and i want to i, I want to be talking about um how to get the most out of your your sets that <clears throat> Um, that are I, a lot of times I do a bunch with talking about using um, and buying sets and buying product suites because it all coordinates and stuff and that's really great but I know a lot of you are avid crafters I'm not going to be doing a bunch of ad, avid crafting tonight but I'm going to be mixing and matching sets just to kind of um, show you how to maximize with what you've got so what are we over there. It's over there? Okay. I don't know why so, I don't know. <clears throat> anyone else come in? Oh, yeah, there's a bunch. Okay. Hello from Sweden. Oh, my gosh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, let's just start off with a little bit of mail. Um, I have a couple of things here that I want to show you. Um, I have a congratulations card. This is from my friend Joy. Have you seen Joy on here yet? Not yet. Okay. Um, and she may be cooking and stuff for Thanksgiving, yeah. who knows. But um, this came from Joy, and it was a congratulations. So um, I'm going to do just a little bit of Linda bragging. Linda Saylor from North Dakota. Oh, another North Dakota, huh? Mm -hmm. I wonder if she knows Jean. She might. Because every North Dakota knows There's each Jean. other, right? Yeah, that's right. There's only a few of you. <laughs> Few hundred of you anyway. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to brag just a little bit, but I was kind of surprised at my team meeting with my upline, and I um, had earned some awards for um, being the number one demonstrator of the year for her, which was so thrilling. I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea that was coming. So uh, Joy made me a little card. That's really cute. Um, this Thanks, one, Marcia, for the nice birthday card. I want to show you guys this. Talk about creativity. So she used some retired DSP, but she made some wood planks. Bill loves to work in his shop. And so this is kind of like my crafting and his crafting mixed together. But she put this together to look like nails and um, wood planks since he's a crafter. And let me just flip this over because I'm just going to hide her greeting to you but I like the balloons so she added isn't this cute the um, paint brushes and the balloons with the happy birthday here I think this is so cute how she m made the little curly um, tails on the balloons so way yeah. cute and hi, then Betsy oh Betsy hi Bob. Betsy yep. welcome um, so this one came from Marsha also, and she said she didn't do a good job and was just sending me a boo-boo. Me and my mom kind of have a thing where if we make a, a card, we send boo-boos to each other. And, um, so she sent this, but actually I think this is really good. She said her spacing was off, but I think it's actually a really pretty card. So thank you, Marsha, for that. And then this I got from, um, 
my downline, I got a Thanksgiving card. This was from Feisty Feisenberg. Her name is Nancy, and we call her Feisty, and she's just wonderful. So what a beautiful card. I love that she did um, with the stitched rectangles on mm -hmm. there. And then it looks leathery. Yeah, it is. It does. That's really good thinking there. Yeah. And then this little beauty, take a look. I'm going to move this so you guys can see. <laughs> So what? Gene and Gene and Linda live a block apart. Oh, do they? <laughs> well, hi, Gene and Linda neighbors. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, so this came from another downline who also happens to be my first cousin. So she made this. So she's on my team, and she got to see the announcements of my congratulations too. But it's a fun fold card. Look at this. Isn't this it's awesome? Awesome card. You can mail it and everything in a regular A2, but so it can sit up like this. And I don't want to give away, but this was from Kristen uh, Lafrida Wenzel, or as Bill likes to call her, Lafrenzo. Lafrenzo. Lafre <laughs> <Lafrenzo. Lafrenzo. laughs> so thank you so much, you guys. That was cute. And then I also have something I just want to share with you. This is one of our mini paper pumpkin boxes. My upline had it filled with some treats because um, I went to a Stampin' Up! event and she decorated it with the, uh, oh, what is this tag set called? Now I'm going to have to look it up. Hold on. I'll look it. It won't take long because of this new, I love this handy, it's the Tag Buffet Project Kit. And isn't that cute? And she had it filled with little product goodies. But that is stinking adorable. So this is something if you um, like the homemade look and are, you know, we're kind of getting down there on our crafting time here for Christmas. Isn't this adorable? So how did I miss this? I don't know how I missed this in this catalog because you can't own it all even though you want to. So let's go. We only have uh, three quick announcements. We've got Paper Pumpkin. Yep, through the 10th. Through the 10th if you want to sign up, which is this little box here. So this is the mini one that you can decorate up. You can buy these in our regular catalog. And then this is in our... Um, holiday mini. I can't remember. It's August, September 2020 mini catalog. I wish they'd call it a holiday mini. But anyway, you can buy both of those products still. But this is the Real Paper Pumpkin, which is an, a subscription set that comes to your um, mailbox. mailbox. Right mailbox. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of an all-inclusive kit. So if you're wanting to start off and be a paper crafter, this is great. I'm actually going to get this one. This one has got 12 comforting cards and looks like right comfort now, foods in there <laughs> right now with um Bears and cupcakes that's right right now with covid going on it's mm. a really yeah. i mean good deal to send out some stuff piccadilly perks if you're new to me and you don't know about my perks programs if you are a loyal customer to piccadilly stamping me, Pamela, Bill and Pamela Pick, then um, and order through our online store, um, you accrue perks rewards for every $35 that you spend in a, in an order. So like if you spend 70, then you'll get two rewards. It's like a buy 10, get one free. You get a $25 um, dollar stamping uh, shopping spree in my store for free. I'm going to pay the tax and the shipping on that also. And so it's about a $35 value. So it's just a rewards program. And I honor this on every purchase, even if um, I have a special going on where I'm promoting like um, with a, you know, $100 order, you can get uh, rhinestones or something. I still honor this. So, and with, I'll, I also honor it during celebration, oh, but wow. you cannot get celebration items or retired things. You can only get what's in current on there. So, and then um, I just recruited a, a, a new lady and I, I want to talk just a minute here. I always put a little plug that join my team. If you're interested in making a little extra money or if you, um, like to get your uh, stamping supplies at a discount. I think everybody should be a discount shopper and you can join my team. And um, Betsy actually just joined our team and she was um, talking about not knowing. So I just want to take one little moment to say that um, 
to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator does not mean that you have to uh, team build. It does not mean that you have to sell anything. You can just order your supplies at a discount. But you get me and Bill and... A whole bunch of women. A <laughs> whole bunch of ladies. And then nice. and, um, you also get Stampin' Up! and all of their trainings that they offer. And there's discounts involved with it. So all you have to do is join to, you know, get a discount. So I just want to let that be known because I don't know that I think sometimes I just talk about joining my team and I want you guys to know that that is an option. If you're spending a lot of money with me, each month, you might want to message me and say, hey, what's the minimums, that type of stuff, because I would like to save you money, and I'm glad to have anybody on my team who wants to be a stamper. Okay, uh, next thing. This is it. We're down to the bare minimums here. December 9th is if you're ordering something, whoops, whoops, from the catalogs, that are current. This is the new one that's coming up, not till January, you guys. December 9th is the last day that you can order to make sure that you get those items for... Um, by Christmas? By Christmas, yes. Mm -hmm. So if you're ordering them for Christmas presents. Now, the other thing is, if you place a $50 order with me using a current host code within the last six months, Guess what I'm sending you for free? I'm going to be sending you the new catalog that's coming out and the celebrations where you can earn um, uh, uh, stamp rewards for every $50 that you spend from the company on top of your perks rewards. But, so that's my plug on if you want to get onto my, I have to put my mailer list into the company because we buy these to send out. I have to put them in by November 30th. The catalogs, they will ship out, they ship out millions of catalogs. These will ship out to people in bulk mailer, which is the cheapest way. So it takes about three weeks to get to you. Um, I would like anybody who, if you're my customer already and you know that I'm sending them to you, if you don't get it by January 4th, please let me know because I pay for those and I want you to have them. So I want to call the company on your behalf and make sure you get it. Okay, that's my plug for that. One last thing is yesterday we had a 10% off, not in this catalog, but in this catalog. There is only 74 items that they do not have on 10% off. Oh, wow. So if you pair this... <laughs> Tonight, because the sale ends tonight at midnight mountain time, which that's an hour behind me. So that'd be 1 a.m. central time. I'm central time. So if you place an order tonight, you get that extra percent off. Plus, I just want you guys to know, on top of that, you get a um, your perks rewards through me. So it's just a, an extra thing to think about. All right. And if it's under $150 that you're placing, please use my host code. If it's over, you would earn host rewards. All right. Oh, I thought that would go so much quicker because I only had three papers. Let's... Three papers and four catalogs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you. Here's your scoop. Thank next. you. So we're going to talk a little bit about mashing up stuff. You get supplies because... Mashing up. Yeah, you get supplies because it's fun. You don't want to make just one Christmas card, right, or one holiday card. So we are going to do holiday cards tonight because we're on the last push, and I've made them very simple because by now people need to get those cards made and, and, and get those addressed and wrote in so that they can get them sending out here in December. So here's what I've got. I am going to use the Heartwarming Hugs. You guys have seen me use this several times now. It is just one of my favorite in the category catalog. I'm going to be using Itty Bitty Christmas and I'm just using it because I wanted this Happy Christmas. I like the font and I like it instead of Merry Christmas it says Happy Christmas. So I'm going to hand that to you. I'm going to use the Warm and Toasty because I think this little reindeer is stinking cute. I'm going to hand that to you. Remember, I believe, I think that's, no, that's not on the sale tonight. And then I'm just going to be using the um, stitched scalloped rectangles that 
comes in the Stitch So Sweetly dies that is attached at a 10% savings. This is one of the things on sale with the So Sentimental bundle. So you get 10% off of this, and then if you order tonight, you get another 10% off. This is a fabulous... I say everyone should own that. Oh, really? Yes. Set. We're going to do a little bit of blends, and let's get stamping. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, this is that die cut, and I pre-die cut it out here, and I want... We're going to we're gonna mash this up with us, too, because we've decided... So, we're going to get close. I'm going to try to get mine big old hands in there. You can do it. So what I would like you to do, I like to ink it this yeah. way, but you could do. And then will you put him right in the center of that? And while Bill's doing that, I'm going to go ahead and take a card base of Whisper White and I'll get that going. How does that sound? Make sure that's good and if you have to stamp off, stamp off. I mean, good and inky. This, I should have probably prepped you. When's the last time you've been I don't know. Stamping. Probably, a while. probably my birthday card. Probably. <laughs> okay, okay, go ahead and just stamp that right into the center the best you can. If you screw up, it's going to cost you a million dollars. Oh, no. I get everything out of the new catalog. Ah, not too bad. Not too bad. Go ahead and put that aside. So then I've folded that card base down. <sighs> I have a piece of that heartwarming hugs cut at two and five eighths. And then will you, without gluing and Everything. squeezing the glue everywhere, okay. you glue the back of that. And then I have a matted piece of Whisper White at two and an eighth by five and a quarter. And this is to do with, sorry, I didn't mean to. Yeah, you made me squeeze that. I made you squeeze it. <laughs> it's going to be hard for you to watch comments. If yeah, you can, you can check on the comments now because I will do the coloring. So I'm just going to center this on with my green glue, and I didn't do a good job of centering. This is why I love green glue. Oh. Green glue. Thank you. Gives me a minute to kind of move it around, and I may have ten minutes the way. You move back over for me while I color, okay? You bet. You're cramping my style. Cramping the style. I'm back. <laughs> so, I've got that glued down. Okay. You did a nice job, Bill. Proud of you. Here we go. Let's go with the red ribbon. I'm going to use this to color in. And um, I'm going to use the brush tip side. You don't have to. You, there, there's also a bullet side. But I'm going to use the brush tip side. Stay, do not linger when you're using blends. Do not linger long on the black lines. Just kind of color it in. Can you see any questions or anything? Not yet. They love it. Love the print paper. I know. It is so pretty. Now, I'm using the light blend, the light real red blend. This is real red. They come in pairs. And I'm using the light mostly because I like to see the detail that um, Stampin' Up! has in the um, stamp. Words, stamp. <laughs> Words were hard there. Words were coming and, to you. And then... Um, they love the little deer. I know. Isn't he cute? Doesn't he just make you happy? Actually... We were listening to Christmas music again before we started. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to take the, um, there's a light, and I think I'm going to go with the light. Or do I want the, no, I'm going to go with the light. I'm going to do the light again so that I can see the little hoof there, the little toe in his. And this is the Smoky Slate blend, and I'm just coloring it in. You're kind of a wiggle worm over yeah, there. Yeah, I know trying to get comfortable. So I can get his hooves colored in. If I did it in black, I wouldn't be able to see his little hooves. So that's why I didn't do black. And then I've got the light and dark of, this is the dark, 
of the um, cinnamon cinnamon cider. I almost said cinnamon spider again. Cinnamon <laughs> cider. So I'm going to come in here. I work in sections. I don't know about you guys doing this. I'm going to do just a little. I'm not doing a whole lot of shading, but I am doing a little. Now remember, everything that you do with these markers, well, all markers really, is going to um, look different when it dries. So I do it in the dark and then I come back in and I'm going kind of just over the dark a little bit and then smoothing it out so it, you can have just, I'm doing just the slightest. Now, just for time's sake here, I'm just going to kind of run this all in now together. I think that this is kind of therapeutic, I will be honest. Oh, you can see the difference. Like, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but you can see the difference. So I guess I'm going to have to come back now that's gonna bug me. I'll just do a very and kind of follow those lines out. <coughs> so how many people I guess in the United States since we know we have people from other countries are eating turkey because we are not that's right. We're being non-traditionalist tomorrow. That's right. We're going to have some lasagna. Yep. Although we have a turkey, we just... Save it for later. Yep, we put it in the fridge and... Make a soup out of it or something. We'll do a turkey and then we can do sandwiches and we can, yeah, we can do all that. So I'm going to come here. Now this is the light that I'm working on. And I'm going to do just a dark little highlight here. And then I'll come back in and blend it. Now it looks like that's going to be really dark, but it really isn't. And I think what I'm going to do, let's, let's do a little more. I'm going to take the light petal pink and do the inside of the ears because he's cute. And then let's do a little light... That's ivory. I don't want ivory. Let's do like light crumb cake here. You know what? No, let's do light gray granite for his. Jackie's having lasagna for Christmas. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Mm. I love Italian food. I just do. I have an appreciation for a lot being um, a military wife. Okay, so we've got that colored in here. So I'm going to move back over so you can come in here. And uh -oh. since I glue a little quicker and a little... Straighter? Well, not straighter, just... Faster? Yeah, I, I do it every day, several times a day. So we're going to lay this on here. And actually, I like this side better. Down here at the bottom. And this is why I love the green glue. Did you see how I moved it and readjusted it? Yep. So I could get that in there. Now, Bill... I am going to see. Um, the stamp set with the beer is warm and toasty. Yes. You can pull it out here for the camera while I'm doing this. Yep. The stamp set she this beer came out of is warm and toasty. <laughs> well, somebody asked. Okay. It's just the way you, all of a sudden you say it and then you say warm and toasty. Warm and toasty. I wish you guys who aren't here right at the beginning can hear how he greets everybody. And how, what did you say today? He sounded like Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> I said it's our Thanksgiving edition. Oh. No, but how did you? Yeah. yeah you like, but real loud. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I've put some dimensionals on the back of him. As you can see, I've got my stamp and Seal Plus out. So I want to do just a kind of a look here of where I want him. Want that. But before I hook him on... I'm going to do a little stamp and seal plus and then have you ever done this with the ribbon before bill nope 
All right, well, you're gonna get an up close and personal lesson. So I stick this in. Uh, I don't know, are we yep. in? Yep. Okay, you tell me. Thanks for holding it. And then I kind of just do a little, that's an actual stamping term. That's it. You like that? Well, you did good. And then, oh, I should have probably looked and seen if that was right before I cut it. So it wasn't right. So we're going to cut it. We're going to go go again. Do you want to do it this time? No. No? <laughs> You're being shy? I am. Why are you being shy? I don't know. I'm going to turn it, actually. I think what I'm going to do is turn it a little bit. Sometimes you want your angle. Okay, now let's see. You see what we're doing here? The ribbon is cool, people are saying. What is? The ribbon. Oh, the ribbon. Now, this is another mashup. This is from the Playful Pets. So we've got Heartwarming Hugs, which is from another suite. But they're all real red. Um, and there you go. Okay. So now what I do here is I just set this right over that ribbon. And then we can go to the sentiment. What do you think? That looks good. Is that cute? Mm -hmm. Okay. So for the sentiment, I chose that happy Christmas. But I'm going to use our craft white ink. Now this is our old container, but I'm not going to buy a new one until I don't know what it is about it, but I still this is the only one of the old ones that I have, but I love them. I still like the old containers. Um so I'm going to ink it up in this craft ink. Now craft ink is easier to smear. It will let you it do takes it. just a you let me do it. Here, will you put that with that set? Mm -hmm. Um it takes but it really is nice on these brilliant colors. So I'm going to try to get this straight. And right here. Happy Christmas! Doesn't with he a, look happy? With a funny little reindeer. He's funny, a he's, a cutie. he's a cutie. So that's our first card with a mashup of different stamp sets, dies from different, um, this was from the So Sentimental Bundle, Playful Pets, Heartwarming Hugs was from um, the coffee set, I believe. I can't mm -hmm. think of the name of it. So, but all of our products match, so you can pull things together because I use the blends, the real red, it all matches. So yeah. let's go to our next one, okay? Next product. What did they think of that? They're loving it. Did they? Cute. He's so cute. He is, he's adorable. A, adorable. Happy Christmas. So sweet. I know. I love it. Okay. So now we're going to do another mashup. This one we're going to do a million time mashup. You guys know that this is, this is on um, the website. It's not in a catalog. This is the Quite Curvy. It's new that they've released early. Um, it is coming out in our next catalog, so it's really nice that it's an early release. It is um, a curvy bundle. It's got curvy dies to it, and the dies are called curvy dies and quite curvy. If you buy them together, it is a 10% discount. Layer that on with the 10% that you can get tonight. Now you have, you know, another... Oh, so that's on the 10%? I believe so. I guess I'd have to look... If my Stampin' Sisters are on, if someone knows that answer, please let us know. Um, but, and then... On top of that, then you get perks rewards, too. That's right. So that's just for me. I'm going to be using the tree angle. Now, there's the right triangle that's in the catalog. So this, I believe, with the dies, is a 10% discount bought together. This one will not be on that 10% tonight, but these two will. So what I'm doing is I'm not going to be using... Um, I'm going to be using the... Uh, Christmas is the best when we're together because that's the truth and who knows if we'll be with our family at Christmas too but yeah. um, I'm going to be using the triangle dies so the large one the the large you know I don't know I know they have different names isosceles triangle I don't know what it is I'll show you <laughs> <laughs> so I realized I was taking geometry tonight I know <laughs> so here we go this was from the curvy die, and I want to point out that when you cut, I have a, it's right here. I need right behind there, babe. When you cut this particular 
um, die out. It makes this image and it's so cute. What you're left over with though, and I don't believe these went together. Well, maybe they did. Um, what you're left over is this. And I thought, hmm, snowdrift. That's Ooh. exactly what I thought, snowdrift. So that's why I'm using the quite Kirby. So you can put those back. Why don't you go ahead and fold the, um, this is pool party cardstock at cut for an A2 card. And I'm going to show them. This is the triangles that I used. It's the largest of the two. This is kind of hard working together. Yeah, I know. Hmm. Anyway, they are stitched out. And I think that's really cool to have a stitched um, triangular die. I have seen people do some really... Um, really creative things. Now I use this um, this summer and I showed you guys, thank you Bill, I showed you guys um, how to take the Artistry Bloom paper and um, make kind of a geometric pattern with this. It was so cute, so I'll hand you that. So what I've done is I've, I've um, paired this with our foil paper. Now we have a red and white foil paper. I have it right red here. Red and white? Or, I'm sorry. A red and green, okay. apparently, colors. I didn't learn. <laughs> anyway, and I foiled it. Um, I ran those through so it has that stitching element, and I used the foil paper. But I paired it with the um, winter snow embossing folder. So this has snowflakes on it. This isn't a 3D embossing folder. This is just our regular one. I do want to say, when you're running these through, here's the other one, I ran it through and you get this beautiful design. When you're running these through, I always try to line it up where I oh, want wow. those to hit. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah. Well, you're learning a lot tonight, aren't you? That's right. Okay, now this can go back. So we're doing quite a mashup on this. So I'm gonna take this and... Oh. I didn't do it good enough. Oh, sorry. I'm... Have it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to use Pool Party right on Pool Party. Let me move my scraps aside. And I'm just going to take in... Um, I think it is in the... Yep, thank you. It is in the right triangle, the one that gives the 10% off tonight, I'm going to use the little dots. I'm going to use it for making snow on my card. So I'm just going to come over here and stamp lightly. And I will show you this up close here. Boy, they're loving it. Loving the embossing on that foil yeah. paper. Oh, yeah. It's so pretty. Ooh. Kind of looks like snowflakes. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm going for here. So I'm mixing and using my sets that aren't like quite curvy is not. Um, well, it does have a Christmas set that goes with it. I didn't get that, but just using that negative piece of paper because everyone knows who follows me for two minutes at least. I like to use scraps, so I don't need to go any farther. That's good. You like that? You bet. Okay, you want to set that aside? Sure can. And I actually can put this right in my little tray holder. Okay. How well do you think you can stamp on this? Not very. In other words, you're wanting me to do yeah, that. Sorry. I like how you're, I want to stamp, and now you're making me you do it if that's difficult. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> so I've got real red ink because I'm going to pair it with real, real red, and I'm going to stamp that sentiment. It is a photopolymer stamp. And um, I like to use the stamp and pierce mat just because it gives a little cush. And I'm going to stamp down here. There we go. And the real red. And I'm going to pull this card together. But oh, get the tag punch. <laughs> he knew the minute I turned around what video wouldn't be complete without wow, my tailored tag, tag punch. punch. That's right. So. Um, this is kind of my go-to, and I, I, I guess I want to show you guys something, but it's kind of my go-to tag punch. I love it. I know we do have um, others for sale, but I have kind of some serious arthritis in my hands, and um, I love how it just does like a little flag. So I'm going to take 
this and kind of center it the best I can looking so far away so that I get a nice good. little flag on that. Now what's neat is you can also use it for the other direction. Arrow. What? An arrow. An arrow, that's right. So that again was the tailored tag punch. I know for sure that this is 10% on discount tonight, so. They wanna see the snow. They wanna see it up close? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's just very light. So I'll give that a minute. Does it show? No, we're not there yet. Oh. Right. Okay. Yep. All right, so I'm going to set that aside. Now, let's start doing a little build in here. So, how do I want to do this? I want, I know that this is going to go down here, so I get a nice little... Yep, it went. Oh, good. Okay. And I want to see which side of this I like. Sometimes, I don't know if you guys do this, but I look at stuff and determine how I like it. I kind of want this to kind of go behind that snow drift. Ooh. Is that kind of creative? Kind of. Okay, so I know that that's going to go about there. So I'm going to just do this really quick, and I hope I'm in camera. So I'm going to move you are. everything up. You're right in the center. I'm going to try to do this. I know right where I want that, off to that edge. Um... Now, green glue gives me the ability to set it down and look where I want it and move it just a little bit. So I want that kind of resting behind my snowdrift. So I'm going to take my snowdrift here and I need uh, about four and a quarter. I guess I could have cut that off, but I can see where it's at here fine. And I will glue this on. I know a lot of people um, buy a bunch of stuff and um, do mashups. They're kind of my favorite. So instead of doing a set, I really wanted to do mashups tonight. Well, it looks like you used about seven sets in the yeah, two yeah, cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aren't you glad that I'm spending your money and, I'm, right. and I'm using it? <laughs> Okay, so I can see right here that this is not flat. And I love that when I'm doing these that I put this up and you can see. So that green glue just gives me a chance to, I'm just going to paper snip that right off. Now I've got that right there on that angle. What do you think, Bill? Looks good. How about if you take some of these and get as tight up there without hanging off there and then a couple in the center okay because he's going to use the regular um dimensionals and i'm going to use i'll move over should i move over no, I'm, good. I'm going to use the little minis here i love that we have two sets so no sag in the middle for me so make sure that you get a couple in that middle Ah, you're a good man. You're a good man. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Okay, so now let's take this. Yeah, thank you, hon. Oh, you <laughs> don't have the backings off. No. I guess I need to do that. <laughs> I didn't have them pulled off yet. Sorry, I'm, I work a little faster maybe. All right, now let's come down here with this a little bit right over where we were. I want that curve to show, so I might have it be, is that straight? I can't tell because I'm working at an angle. Looks like it. Okay, so now I've got my two trees here, right? And the sentiment is, Christmas is best when we're together. So I'm gonna do a little flaggy up here, but wait. I want to pull in this red because I don't have it any place else. So I'm going to use the, um, I think it's the double stitch. What's this? It's the real red. What is this called? Double stitch satin ribbon. I was right. Yahoo! And I went ahead and tied a little bow. And I'm going to cut the flag. I'm almost out. I've got to order more. So I'm being sparing. 
Let's take a look at this now. Let's get some glue dots. What are you thinking, Bill? I'm just watching. Are you enjoying it? I am. Are you glad to be involved, are you? Yep. <laughs> Can't You're, watch them. He's such a good sport, you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm going to place that on there. Look at that. It took it just to a whole nother level, I think. I'm going to do a little trim on these tails and put maybe just a hair more of an angle. What do you think? Yeah, I agree. Are you just saying that? Oh, I'm I'm about needing some new steps. What? I haven't touched them. <laughs> I know you haven't. They go bad. I, I do a lot of card making. Okay, now let me stand up here so you guys can see this. It has enough bling on its own. I didn't want to add a whole lot more. But isn't that just sweet? It's a sweet little mashup. This is a sweet little mashup. I think these cards are so stinking cute. What do you think? I think they are. Which one do you like better? Which do you guys like better? I like the reindeer. You like the reindeer? Because I stamped it. Because he stamped it. So let's... How about if we send out a couple of these cards sure. to people? Should we do that? All right, you guys. I just want to um, uh, say I appreciate you guys um, sharing my video. Sharing is how you earn um, the cards that I make or That's right. every week when I do this. I do appreciate that. Word of mouth. If you are interested in purchasing any of these items, if you're watching me right here on Facebook, you go to Piccadilly Stampin'. There's a blue button that says Shop Now. The sales are going on and they'll tell you what they have left. Um, shop early if you want something um, because um, till midnight mountain time so you can only buy from me if you um live here in the united states not from the other country sorry but i hope that i have uh, given you some inspiration to do some mashups on your own and You're we'll do a, like crazy we Ooh. will do a drawing for two of them two of them yes two so why don't i hold on i'm mixing it up i'm just gonna mix it up a little bit all right don't look just pull out two of those. Okay. Who'd you get, Grab Kathy. Kathy Costello? Okay, Kathy, you are new to me. I would love to send you this set of cards. If you would message me in um, here on Facebook and uh, your address, I will send those out to you so you'll have a couple of cards to send to people. And who and else? Jane Jacobs. Jane L. Jacobs. I will send you the same set of cards. Just um, send me a message. I've, I've not seen you here before. So but welcome. Yeah, welcome. So um, let me know your address so I can get those out to you. Um, anything else? Oh, happy, happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving, everybody. Yep. <laughs> I will see you next week. Oh, I do, there's one other announcement. Um, I am not going to be doing... I'm going to take some time off. So I'm going to take... Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off. So um, I, I need a well, I deserve a, a, a little rest. It, it's well needed. So you will not have a Piccadilly Parfait on Friday, but I will bring stuff back next week, okay? Kathy says, thank you so much. Oh, Kathy's on here. Great. Yep. Well, send me She's your from address. from Texas. Oh, from Texas. Wonderful. So, all right. Thank you so much, you guys. Have a wonderful holiday. See you next week. Bye-bye.